I am going to eat something for the 1920s when World War One finished. I am eating the thing that they are eating right now. This is what they are eating. They were eating. They were eating um, milk. But I'm vegan, so this is the milk I'm drinking. And we also eat baked beans in England. This is English from England. Oh, right now it is on the best decade. I this on the table. So, oh. so anything that I think is really nice, I put it here. Okay. I finally had chocolate milk in the 30s. No, the 60s. And later on, it will be pizza. Oh, no, no, no. It will be a patty. Oh. <laughs> Let's fast forward this thing. How do you buy all this? Huh? I'm puzzled. Puzzled by what? Oh, by what, what, what you're going to do. What, what's, um, what's the phone call about? It's an interview on, uh, what did, uh, 1930s and 40s were, were seem different to now? Right, is it 30s and 40s or 40s and 50s? 40s and 50s, 40s and 50s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, because I wouldn't be able to tell you about the 30s. <laughs> <laughs> right, so what do we do now? You uh, answer all the questions. <laughs> all right, go. <laughs> what did 1940s and 50s seem different to now? What was so different back then? Right, don't get me started. <laughs> <laughs> well, life was very simple in those days. You didn't have to worry about mobile phones and computers and all that sort of thing because there weren't any. And, okay. Um, yeah, just the phone attached to the wall. I remember and, that. Do you? <laughs> I have one in my room when I was a child. <laughs> Really? Oh, well, there you go. You can relate to this. Yeah, so, um, oh, well, what else? What was trending back then? What was trending? Mm. Yeah. Um, well, in the late 50s, there was a lot of worry about nuclear war breaking wow. out okay um the war had finished in 1945 and it was brought to an end by the explosion on hiroshima and um okay. and everyone was very worried about uh, russia and, and their, their threats to you know, communism overrunning the world. Okay. So it was a very disturbing time that for, you know, as far as adults were concerned. Yeah. Um, so what else can I say? <laughs> um, what was trending? Um, yeah. Um, well, swing music. Oh, yeah, swing music. It was called swing music and... There was lots of dancing, and not that I danced because I was a hopeless dancer, but people <laughs> used to dance. <laughs> and jitterbug and 
and uh, rock and roll and all that sort of thing, you know? Oh, like, mm. yeah. That. Yeah, well, the beginning of it anyway. Mm. Ah. Mm. What was school like? School was great. I loved school. Um, the teachers didn't put up with any bad behaviour in the classroom and they could deal with it. They had more power in those days. Um, oh. Of course, they wielded the cane for naughty boys. The girls never got the cane at my school anyway. Um, but... Um, Oh, it, it, it was just good. You had your friends and just, it was just pleasant times. My granddaughter now is at school somewhere and she's suffering badly because of groups of girls excluding her and bullying and all that sort of thing. Well, that didn't happen in my day. Everyone got on well, oh, as yeah. far as I could see. <laughs> So, better times. Mm. What okay. else? What did a public phone box look like? Oh, I used to have one in my garden. Did I ever have one when you came around? Uh, I don't think so. I never no. seen Well, my husband loved old things like radios and telephones and telephone booths he loved them and it was always his dream to have one in his yard anyway our eldest son about oh, i suppose about 18 years ago turned up one day with his truck and this red telephone box on the back and he unloaded it and erected it in our yard and my husband was over the moon. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> and um, there was a phone just about on, you know, oh, I won't say every corner, but they were very, very, um, you know, prevalent in the area. You never, no, no one ever had to walk very far to get to a phone, a public phone. Oh. Anyway, the phone that we had was called a witch's hat phone because it had a pointed roof on it. And before that, they used to have rounded roofs. I don't know what they called them, but anyway. So, there you go. Okay. <laughs> um, how Next. did how did transport work back then? Public oh, transport. Yes, yes, very efficiently. Very efficiently. How um, much was the ticket back then? Oh, golly. <laughs> I don't know. I, I go about two cents for a child. <laughs> wow. And, um, and probably 10 cents. This is in the 40s, about 10 cents for adults. Oh. 12, 12 cents return, something like that, you know. Mm. Oh. That was on trains and buses, I suppose, they were the same. But, um, yeah, so I remember getting buses and only using copper coins, like that. they used to call them pennies. And for me to get on a bus I only need to, needed two of them so that was tuppence which was equivalent to um, nearly two cents oh interesting mm. yes <laughs> mm. um, next question is do you keep in touch with your high school friends um Oh, one of them lives in Canberra. I think most of them have sort of drifted away. A couple have died. Um, my very good friend died at an early age. Um, like, I mean, she was about 35 or something like that. So, Oh, that's young. Uh, it was very sad. Anyway, um, I've got a friend who lives in Canberra and we, we keep in touch. Uh, I haven't seen her for a long time. 
but um, life's too busy now. You see, back in the in the olden days, as you might call it, yeah, you could you could fit in visits to people, but now you're busy, busy, busy all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I am anyway. <laughs> So, next. Um, what was food back then different to now? Food, did you say? Yeah. Why oh. was it different to now? Well, um, there wasn't a lot of um, ethnic food, <laughs> for want of a better word. Uh, like, there were, there were Chinese uh, Chinese restaurants around. There were plenty of them, um, but but what what um, Australians ordered at a Chinese restaurant, Chinese people would turn their noses up at. You know, <laughs> they they cooked oh. to, to cater for the for the locals, and 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 there, and there was a sort of um, sweet and sour pork curry prawns and rice and um, princess chicken. I mean, these were the, the things that people knew about and would eat at the Chinese restaurant. Oh, okay. Um, and there were, there were no Indian restaurants around or Lebanese or anything like that. Wow. And you just ate, ate plain food and nutritious food. Um, yeah, so quite different really i mean i still eat the same sorts of things that i used to eat but 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 i also eat introduced interesting things like lasagna and all that i remember when when italian food became popular oh. out here and uh you know you never used to there was a cafe in in town that we'd go to after work and it was called Lorenzini's and they made it espresso coffee and made and just served spaghetti bolognese and it was perfect it was beautiful they were run by Italians and that was one of the first first um Italian restaurants in Sydney oh. mm. so that was in the late 50s yeah Okay. Mm -hmm. Next. Um, <laughs> next is, how was your childhood? My childhood? Very yeah. happy. Very happy? happy. Yep. Very. What I had a do? very strict mother and oh. a very, very kind father. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but... I, I was, I had one sister and we were both very happy. She was four and a half years older than I am, but we were very happy, happy people. Okay. Um, did you have a TV back then? Have a what? TV? TV? Yeah. Um, we got TV. Let me see. <laughs> Uh, oh, <laughs> I can't remember. No, not in the fifties. Certainly not in the fifties. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. You listen to the radio. It oh, was very, the radio. very good, very good programs on on radio. Lots of serials and Superman was on and all that sort of thing. And you'd sit around the radio and listen in every night. And then they'd have plays on for adults and book readings and radio was very, very special in those days and it was a very big uh, draw card for everybody. Oh, it's pouring rain here at the moment. Oh, <laughs> oh it's raining here as well. <laughs> uh, where about to you, Timothy? I'm home. You're home, yes. Yes, it's boring. <laughs> hmm. Sorry. Now, what, what, what was 
What was trending in the 60s? Oh, the Beatles. The Beatles? Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> yellow submarine, yellow submarine. Yeah, all that sort of thing. Yeah. And, so it wasn't the Beatles fan. And late, <laughs> and late 60s was Elvis, wasn't it? Oh, yes, yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he was an iconic. He was yeah, an icon. He, he was iconic, but um, there, I, there were better artists around than he was that I enjoyed listening to. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Um, um, how was high school? Great. Great. Yes, thoroughly enjoyable. Yeah? I, I went to Strathfield Girls High and I went the, the year after it opened. So it was a very new school when I started there. Wow. And I was supposed to go to Hornsby Girls High, but all my friends were going to Strathfield, so I, I, I went there. Oh, okay. And it was, uh, they were good years, so I left in year 10, or the equivalent of year 10. Oh, yeah. year 10, okay. Well, it was called, year, um, the first form, the third form, yeah. Oh. It was, like, it was like year 9, but it was equivalent to year 10 now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because I only had five years in high school, it went to fifth form, and um, and I nearly went on, and then I decided to save my parents some money because in those days it was very expensive to send people to uni. Oh, so you didn't very get to uni? No, 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 no. I I I left and um, I went to tech and studied uh, um, engineering drawing. So oh. I worked in, in a drawing office after I left school. Mm. It was, was interesting. How oh. was your young adulthood? <laughs> oh. oh, well, that was, that was good. That was my young adulthood was, was in the early 60s. I turned 21 in 1962, um, and at that stage I've been working, I worked for Garden Island, which is part of the Navy, oh. and I got a job in the drawing office at Garden Island, and that was very interesting, well, working on all these big ships and things that had to be fixed up and outfitted for sailing the seas. Hmm. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Hmm. What was trending in your young adulthood? Ah, uh, um, <laughs> uh, The well, hairstyles? Sorry, pardon? How was the hairstyles? <laughs> Uh, no, I didn't catch that then. What did you say? The hairstyles. Oh, hairstyles. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Right. Well, I might tell you that, that I never went in for any great hairstyles, but beehives were all the go. Piled up, the hair piled up high and, and um, oh... There was a girl called Twiggy who was an English model, skinny little thing, and I always see her hair, and they were, they were very ugly. <laughs> and they wore <laughs> lashes with lots of eye makeup and very pale lipstick. It looked like zinc cream on their lips. Oh. <laughs> so they looked a bit scary to me, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what did your childhood house you looked like? My childhood house, 
Yeah. Um, well, I suppose you'd describe it as Californian bungalow, if that means anything to you. That was a style in oh. the, built, built in the 30s, 1930s. Oh. And um, just a, a three-bedroomed house. Hmm, three-bedroomed house. And, and my mother was a very keen gardener, so the house was surrounded by lovely flowers. Oh, which, mm. flo which flower was your ferret? Which flowers? Which flowers were your ferret? Ferret. Favourites, right, okay. <laughs> oh, well, well, in those days I used to love poppies and pansies and primroses and, uh, and, and asters and, goodness me, frangipanis and, gosh, what else? Um, stocks. Oh. And um, cosmos. Every every flower that okay. could be grown was growing in my mother's garden. Mm. <laughs> That's where I get it from. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and my father was a keen vegetable gardener. Oh. Mm. What vegetables did he fancy? Oh, well, in the summertime we had beans and and um, tomatoes and capsicums and oh, carrots, parsnips, all sorts of things he grew. Half of our backyard was taken up with vegetable garden. Oh. Mm. And we never had to go and buy vegetables because there was always something to eat in the garden. Oh. Must have mm. been more... Must be free. Through. Yes, yes, yes. And he'd save the seeds and plant them the following year. And we had our own chooks too, so we, we were oh. able to keep ourselves in eggs all the time. And mm. entertained by them. <laughs> Sparking <laughs> funny sounds all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Making squawking sounds. <laughs> <laughs> you don't eat eggs, do you? No. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Perish the thought. Uh. <laughs> 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 what shops were available? In those Sorry? days. Hang, what, hang on. What, what shops were there? Oh, right. Well, um, <laughs> well, I lived at West Ride. Do you know where West Ride is? Yeah. That's... Yeah. That's where I lived. Now, there was just the main street of shops and there was a chemist. There were two chemists, in fact. And a couple of butchers and a paper shop. And then we got very excited because a leaflet got put in our letterbox that there was a variety store coming to West Ride and it was called Pennies, P-E-N-N-Y apostrophe S, Pennies. Okay. And then there was a grand opening and every child got a pen. Now, when we went to school, you wrote with a pen and ink. You had oh. inkwells, right? And these pens that they gave us were glass. And you know what a, a spirit level looks like? Uh, no. Like it's a, tube, a glass tube with liquid in it and... You, you hold it, if you want to get something level, you hold it so that the oh, bubble, you know, cool. the sort of thing. Yeah. So these pens in the handle was like a spirit level. They were the length of a pencil. And uh, But anyway, people would break them and the stuff would go all over the desk and the books at school, so they banned them. 
Oh. So that's that's what everyone got from this shop that, that opened. And, um, you know, they sell everything, not, um, not food, but, but all sorts of things. Uh, oh, I don't know. What can I compare it with? Like a, like a mini Kmart sort of a shop it was. Oh. So that was very exciting. Oh, and there was a nursery, where, you know, a plant nursery. Okay. Doctors and all that. So, but but when you wanted to do serious shopping, like go to a Woolworths or something like that, you'd have to go to Burwood. Do you know where Burwood is? Yes, I, I've been there. Burwood. Well, that's you'd have to get the train to Burwood and do all your shopping and carry all your parcels home and um, or or. Or you could go into town, into DJs or somewhere like that and go to their food hall and they used to sell imported stuff and it was very expensive but very posh, right? Yeah. <laughs> Am I answering these questions well enough for you? Yeah, very interesting <laughs> and fun to listen to. <laughs> and right now I'm wearing a mask. I'm wearing Are a... You? I'm wearing a face, you know, the eye mask. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, this is I, what you're I'm, dressed up as. I, I made I'm a mask. I'm to be looking at you. <laughs> this isn't FaceTime, is it? No, this is not FaceTime. <laughs> this is <laughs> phone tour. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> and, and what are you, who are you supposed to be in this mask? Um... Someone from the nineteen nineteen forties. <laughs> right. I'm just right. with a blue I'm wearing blue right now. Okay. Right. Late, later in the eighties, nineteen eighties, I'm gonna dress all colourful. Right, right. Okay. Well so you're sort of dressed up as the phantom which was around in those days. Oh, that's what I'm going for. <laughs> <laughs> the, phantom, the phantom of the opera, right? Oh, well, not, not that phantom. There was oh. another comic strip. The fa he was the phantom and he was a, you know, he, he's a bit like a bit of a cross between Spider-Man and, and Superman and Batman. You know, he used to fly around the place and do good <laughs> and, and bash up baddies and all that sort of thing, you know. So he used to wear a mask. Mm. Oh. So that's who I thought you were trying to be, the Phantom. Oh, mm. okay. Mm. <laughs> um... What is something that you wish would come back? Um, <laughs> radio plays. <laughs> radio plays? Yeah. Um, oh, golly. Uh, Yeah, I used to love listening to them. And something else I forgot to mention, um, there were lots of circuses that used to come around. Oh, circus. Yeah, lots of them. There'd always be a circus somewhere close by. And I thought they were rather cruel. Oh, dear. Things, keeping lions and tigers and... Elephants or, you know, locked up like that. Wasn't very good to my way of thinking anyway. But people used to go and we'd, you know, enjoy the acrobats and all that sort of thing, or I did. Mm. Yeah. But not the animals. I didn't like them using animals. Yeah, I don't like them either using animals. Mm. I wish mm. I did this use people. <laughs> 
Yeah, but back in those days, people didn't seem to mind much about it, but I did. I, um, oh. You know, eh, I never thought much of that. Anyway. No, really, I mean, when you think about it, it's, you, you've got to progress, not go back. Yeah. It doesn't do you any good to go back. You've got to look to the future and try and make it work out. Yeah. You? Yeah, look for the future. Mm, that's right. Yes. <laughs> Anything else? Um, that's that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> and you've retained all that, have you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's good. Okay. Well, are you having a good day? Yeah, I'm having a good day at home. Yeah. Uh, with dressing up and seeing yeah. what snacks they eat back then. Yeah, yeah. So I'm trying, trying to live in the, in the past. Yeah. Keep <laughs> yourself in and, the past. And, we, and what do you think? What do you think of those days? Uh, I'm not even entirely sure. <laughs> I'm not, I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. I think they're Is really he... interesting <laughs> that yeah. children can play together and there's lots of things like hopscotch and yes, marble. Yes. What That's else is right. there? Hopscotch and what else? Oh. What's another game? <laughs> handball. I think they still play that, don't they? Yeah, handball and mm, soccer. Ball, medicine ball, all those sorts of games. Yes, nobody seems to play anything much anymore unless they have to just join a special P. Um, club, you know, that's right. And then it becomes, <laughs> it becomes too demanding. People don't play play games for fun anymore, do they? Oh, dear. <laughs> I, will, I play for fun with my children's friends. Yes, yes. We play, a, I have no idea what we're playing with a handball. We play a handball yes. and... Where do you do this? Uh, church. Oh, Sunday. yes, yes. Yeah, that's Play good. with the little children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's very good. Mm. Some of those children I know from when they were newborn. Babies, yes. Yeah. yes. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a little girl up at... North Rocks today, that's where I went shopping, and um, she was lost, and she was the dearest little Chinese baby girl, she was, uh, look, she could barely walk, and her mother, silly lady, was well, almost... This is like, what um, the 70s, 60s dress like, they dress like um, with patterned shirts, I think. Or some random shirt with another shirt on top. Okay. <laughs> this is the eighties. Whatever they eat in for lunch, they got this from the vending machine. Just pretend this is from the vending machine. Lunch tables, lunch tables from the eighties and seventies. This one from the vending machine. I'm making a. I'm making a pizza burger. This is probably what, what, what was the meal that the girl I want more cheese. I'll use it for Let's get the burger patty out and then put this on top, put the leftover tomatoes on top. 
This is probably what they eat in the 80s. Maybe let's finish the, the toast. I'm using vegan cheese, so they are probably... Oh my goodness. This is for dinner. But it's a... Um, it's a... Think of it as a... Strange... Hi everyone, this is what I eat for high school, uh, primary school in the early 10s. The cheese is to represent milk, but it's vegan. And the maple syrup, mommy put maple syrup, I think. That's why it was sweet. So I put maple syrup. Let's just pretend this is maple syrup. I usually have the real thing. Okay? Like and subscribe off to the next era, which is whatever I eat. Bye bye! Mmm! It's as good as I remember. But that time I was not, I was being vegetarian. This was actually invented in the 1700s. But it's been used through the ages. Yeah. This probably would cost, I don't know, $4 now? <laughs> like, in, I, I, I don't know what I'm saying. I'll